Pro Digital Gear has another special video for you today. We are going to show you how to set up the Pearl PTM pre-treatment machine and we are going to give you a detailed walkthrough of the menu system. So first let's talk about the different parts and features. The first thing we have here is our touch screen user interface which has all the main controls for the Pearl PTM. Next we have our Garmin Platen where we place our garments to be treated. On the Garmin Platen there's a Platen height adjustment. You can adjust the height of the Platen on all four sides. It is important to remember that this is an open pre-treatment machine. This means pre-treatment can become airborne. You must wear proper safety gear when using this machine. Also, you don't want to use this machine around other electronics such as computers and printers. We also have our nozzle cap, which can twist off if you need to clean or replace the nozzle. Of course, we have our on and off switch and our pre-treat inlet. We'll show you how to connect the tubing to this soon. The nozzle is broken up into four separate parts. The nozzle cap, the nozzle, the rubber seat, and the check valve. To replace the nozzle, first twist off the nozzle cap. Then you're going to have to remove the rubber seat. Use something to do this gently. It should come out pretty easily. Then replace the nozzle. And this easily fits back in the nozzle cap. Do not forget to put the rubber seat back in. And also check the check valve before twisting back on the nozzle cap. To set up and start using your Pearl PTM, you will need an all-purpose cleaner, shop rags or towels, and distilled water. In our user guide, there is a huge warning, and it tells us that this machine must be cleaned daily after each use. It also says that the pretreatment should not sit idle in the machine for more than 30 minutes. It also tells us to flush the machine with distilled water only. First, we can plug in our power cord located on the side closer to the back of the machine. It's probably a good idea that you put your PTM on a power strip or surge protector. You can now power on the PTM by pressing the power button. Let's go ahead and walk through our user interfaces on the main screen. This is our home screen. We have our start and stop button. You press this to start or stop the spray cycle. You have your light pretreat level meter, which displays the estimate light pretreat remaining. You have your dark pretreat level meter, which displays estimated dark pretreat remaining. You have your garment selection, either light or dark, your spray length area, your cycle counter, spray density setting, your save menu, your settings menu, your home menu, your maintenance menu, and your stats menu. Let's look at our save menu first. You can save your configuration settings and you can save up to 20 different files for configured settings. These are located here. Right here you have your settings display, which displays the current settings for the mode to save. You have your save button, you can then open your files with this button, and then you can also delete files with this button. Now let's go over to our settings menu. We have our light pretreat level meter, dark pretreat level meter, garment selection, spray length area, flex lock, speed mode, select light garment button, select dark garment button, spray length setting, spray density setting, and spray density slider. Now we can go ahead and click on our maintenance menu. We have our nozzle cart position, power off button, adjustment button, water auto prime button, water manual prime button, light and dark pretreatment selection, pretreatment auto prime button, and pretreatment manual prime button. Now let's go to our stats menu. This helps you keep track of your cost for material. You have your light pretreat level meter, your dark pretreat level meter, your level meter amount, you have your reset level meter, light pretreatment cost per gallon, and dark pretreatment cost per gallon. Your machine info button, cycle counter, shirt cost, total run cost, and reset cycle count. Spare parts such as the nozzle, solenoid, check valve, and pump can also be purchased. And I might have mentioned this throughout the video, but it's very important. Priming and flushing needs to be done as specified. See a detailed explanation on how this is done in our next video. 
We hope this video was able to help you today. If you have any questions, you can always call the knowledgeable staff at Pro Digital Gear, 1-888-459-1482, or visit our websites, pdgvip.com and prodigitalgear.com, or send us an email at sales at prodigitalgear.com. Thanks for watching.